Hello, Dawes Road family, and to those of you who have tuned in, welcome in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In our four-minute Bible booster, we turn to Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 10 to 11, and it's talking about the roughed-up nest. Some of us feel like we're going through some pretty rough patches in our own lives. Uh, we want to almost complain and uh, bitterly want to reject some of those rough times and, until we think of some of our brothers and sisters in Christ in different parts of the world who are who are being chased down and their properties confiscated, who are being imprisoned, tortured, and even executed just simply because they're a follower of Jesus. And we realize, I don't have it that bad. But you know, we're still so human. And so we do want to complain about the rough patches in our lives. We feel like we're in a roughed up nest. Well, it's very interesting as God's people reflect on their past. They've been going through the wilderness for some 40 years. They're on their way to the promised land. And and, and, and this is what they hear about God in Deuteronomy 32. In the middle of verse 10, it says this. He shielded him. God shielded his people. He shielded him and cared for him and guarded him as the apple of his eye. Oh, yeah. We saw some of those daily miracles of God's provision and care and protection. Yes. Oh, but let me start at the beginning of verse 10. It says this. In a desert land, he, God, found him in a barren and howling waste. He shielded him and cared for him. He guarded him as the apple of his eye. And I'm sure the people of God, wow, for 40 years, yeah. Boy, it was rough. It was rough. But God, you, you said you cared for us. You shielded us. You're, we were your favorites. You're, we were the apple of your eye. What, what's going on here? Well, the, the next verse helps us understand what God is doing. And this is what God is doing in your life as well. It says, like this, it says this in verse 11, like an eagle that stirs up its nest and hovers over its young, that spreads its wings to catch them and carries them aloft. Wow, this is a beautiful word picture. This is amazing. Mom and dad eagle have built this nest probably on the side of a cliff, way up there. No predators can get to it. Beautiful nest. They may have one or two uh, little eggs that, that, that hatch, and out comes the eaglet. And this eaglet is in this beautiful, soft, comfortable nest. But it's time for Eaglet to learn how to fly. And unknown to Eaglet, in the foundation of this nest are, of course, the, the supporting branches. And they've got some sharp nubs on them and so on. And so mom and dad Eagle, at the, at the appropriate time, will fluff up the nest. And out will come these barbs. And little Eaglet, where's my nice soft nest? And he'll tumble out of the nest. And he, now he's falling down the side of the cliff. And the, the ground is rushing up at him. And he's about to crash and burn. And he may even try to stretch out his wings a little bit, try to slow his descent. But unknown to him, what's happening at the same time? Oh, mom and dad eagle are in a power dive to catch up to little eagle that he's falling. And they race and they catch him on their back. Amazing. And carries them aloft back up to the nest. What a scary event for the little eaglet. But then, you know, it's interesting at the appropriate time again, mom and dad fluff up the nest again. Little eaglet tumbles out of the nest and he's, the, the ground is rushing up at him and he stretches out his wings and perhaps a little bit more, maybe even gets into a bit of a glide and then the, the ground is still rushing up at him, but he gets in a, little, in a glide, but he's out of control. But you see mom and dad eagle power dive again and they race under the little eaglet that's falling and they catch him on, his, on their backs and rays and, and flies him aloft back up to the nest. This may happen time and time and time again. It gets to a point where a little eaglet, he's getting better and better at falling, isn't he? Because he stretches out his wings and he's learning to fly. He'll get to a point where he actually likes to fly. It's part of the maturing process. See, that's what God was doing with his people. That's what God does with us. Sometimes God will lead us through a very rough patch He'll rough up the nest, and we're wondering, what, what are you doing, God? I thought we were your favorites. God is teaching us and strengthening us to help us to fly on his eagle wings. If you're going through that rough patch, or you will be going through that rough patch, trust God. His eagle wings are there to carry you aloft. You will not crash and burn because he loves you. You're his favorites. You're the apple of his eye. Trust in Jesus. God bless you. God bless you as you continue your walk with Jesus.